Hello everyone! Today I'm going to show you uh, my method of how I'm making this face mask that we're distributing throughout the county. Um, it's pretty simple, it's about six steps and it can be done in 10 to 15 minutes depending on your speed. Um, so first I'm going to show you what we've got. We've got a 10 inch by 15 inch piece of fabric, cotton woven fabric. I've got a little needle here to um, thread the elastic, which I'll show you how to do. You can also use a safety pin. Um, we've got metal nose pieces um, to have an adjustable nose bridge. Um, a 30 inch long piece of elastic. Um, you can also use jersey fabric or bias tape. And I have a knitting needle to help me with the corners. Um, but we'll get to that. You can use a needle or First, we're gonna have, we have our right side up here and we're going to make a hem folding the wrong side over the right side. Oh, just kidding. Right side over the wrong side. And it's about a quarter inch hem. a little back stitch in the beginning. as I go along. I usually do it in uh, more of an assembly line style so it can go quicker. Um, but for the sake of filming the video, we're just going to do one today. Okay. On the other side, this is on the 10 inch side that we're doing the stitches. Going to fold our right sides together, moving any threads out of the way, folding that in half to bring the corners together, and the hem corners. Now we're going to do a simple L stitch to make the space where the um, filter can go in. So this is creating the pocket. I go in about a thumb's length. Thank you, Helen, for that little trick. It's really helpful. And then you can put down and a little back stitch in the beginning. Go to the end of your hemmed side. You lift your presser foot, and you're going to be turning our fabric.
these threads nice and short so you don't see them when it's folded on the other side. This is a good job for anybody in your house that's not sewing. They can clip your threads for you while you're working on your other pieces. And then I go in, I fold it right side out now and just kind of poke the corners out with this knitting needle that you can use um, anything that has a point, but not too pointy so it's poking through your fabric. <laughs> it along the edge. This is another good job for non-sewers. <laughs> and next we're going to put our metal nose piece in. Kind of just plop it in, take it down, and find it down here and inch it to the middle. And a good way to know it's in the middle is just kind of by folding them over and seeing if they're equal. About equal. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just for the sake of getting these done. And I feel where it starts. I know it's about a quarter inch wide. Back stitch here. And this is keeping it in place. And it can always be removed, the nose piece, um, to be replaced as well, which is nice if it gets too bent out of shape. And clipping the threads. I like to have them nice and short because this is on the outside. And the last sewing step is you just fold over about a quarter to half inch depending on the width of your elastic or your jersey fabric or bias tape you're gonna change that width um, of the fold depending on how wide that is and I just fold it over from the edge and it's just another simple straight stitch and the other side. So this is making a little tunnel for the elastic to be threaded through. Um, I've found this to be very convenient so we don't have to sew pleats. It um, saves a bit of time for me. Um, it, and then it fits the face really well with the elastic because it can change, which is really nice. So again, Back stitch. But not least, if not the most important part, I guess they're all important parts. I'm going to put it through my little, it's like a thick needle for weaving, but you can use a safety pin. Um, I thread it through what is the top um, so that it can go all the way around the bottom and back up so that you can tie it on the top of the face mask around your head. Um, I found it's easier than tying it from the bottom, just in terms of fitting well. So threading that through, leaving a little tail so 
it doesn't get lost in the tunnel. I can't have that. <laughs> and I just scrunch in like you would do a, a, a lace for a hoodie or anything like that. Scrunching it through the tunnel. There it is. And voila! Then we can do a little tie. And this is adjustable, so it's great. Um, People have bigger or smaller heads. You can fit as you want, which is nice. And then when you're putting it on, I guess I'll show you how I do that. So it's a flat piece like we just sewed and I just place the bottom one over and I sort of pull with my head <laughs> And it scrunches really nicely. So it frames your ears really well. And then I just the tie here. Oops. There goes my tie. And voila. So this is great because it doesn't um, go around the ears. So it's not making your ears raw like we've seen those photos. It just goes nice on the top of your head. And you've got your nose bridge that's adjustable. And there you go. It fits really well around here. It's nice and secure and safe. And you have your pocket down, down here <laughs> that you put your filter in. Thank you everyone. Happy sewing.